In this video, we look at strategies for working with multiple CSV files. We want an approach that is fast and scales to large datasets. The setup is simple. We want to run a group by aggregation across multiple CSV files. Strategy number one, looping in eager mode. We create a list to hold the data frame for each CSV file. We have a list of file paths in file path list. We loop through the CSV file paths. On each iteration, we read the CSV into a data frame and append it to the list. We then concatenate the data frames into a single data frame and do the group by. This approach is simple. However, this approach does not use query optimization and does not scale to larger than memory datasets. So let's look at strategy number two, looping in lazy mode. This time we use scan CSV to create a lazy frame and append it to the list on each iteration. We concatenate all of the lazy frames into a single lazy frame. We do the group by aggregation and evaluate with collect. This approach takes advantage of query optimization, but does not scale to larger than memory datasets. We can simplify the start of the query using strategy number three, using a glob pattern. Here we pass a glob pattern with the wildcard star to scan CSV. With this approach, Polaris does the loop over the CSV files and concatenates the output into a single lazy frame for us. Like strategy two, this approach takes advantage of query optimization, but does not scale to larger than memory datasets. Finally, we come to strategy number four, using streaming. Here we pass the argument streaming equals true to collect, so Polars runs the query in chunks. This approach takes advantage of query optimization and scales to larger than memory datasets. Streaming won't work for all queries, however. Some Polars operations do not support streaming, and in other cases, you might need to work with external libraries. But if you are working with large datasets, you should aim to work in streaming mode for as much of your query as possible, especially if you can reduce your dataset size with a filter or aggregation. I hope this helps you supercharge your pipelines with Polars. If you want to learn more, check out my blog posts or join me on my online course at the links below.